someone there. Anybody there? These pillars must have something to do with it. Yes. These are Akaviri symbols. Here, let's see. You had the symbol for king, and warrior, and of course the symbol for dragonborn. That's the one that appears to have a sort of arrow shape pointing downward at the bottom. Pillar on the left. Given that Skyhaven Temple was sealed against the return of the Dragonborn, I will try turning all the pillars to that symbol. Whatever you did, it worked. Let's see what those old blades left in our way. Why are you stopping? Careful here. See these symbols on the floor? Hmm. Esbern's right. Look like pressure plates. We'll cross once it's safe. Be careful. Remarkably well preserved. Ah, 
Here's the Blood Seal. Another of the lost vocabulary arts. No doubt triggered by, well, blood. Your blood, Dragonborn. Look here. You see how the ancient blades revered Reaper Cyrodiil? Wall, so well preserved. Huh? I've never seen a final example of early second era Kaviri sculpture and relief. Hesburn, we need information, not a lecture on art history. Yes, yes, let's see what we have. goes back to the beginning of time, when Alduin and the dragon cult ruled over Skyrim. Here, the humans rebel against the dragon overlord, the legendary dragon war. Alduin's defeat is the centerpiece of the war. You see, here is falling from the sky. The Nord Tom's masters of the voice are arrayed against him. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah, patience, my dear. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory, and mythic symbolism. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Hmm? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to drag or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all the new of Alduin and his turn. So we're looking for a shout then. Damn it. You ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. If they had their way, you do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? Good. The Greybeards can teach you a lot, but don't let them turn you away from your destiny. You're Dragonborn, and you're the only one who can stop Alduin. Don't forget it. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. 
Talos guard you. Look here, in the third panel. The prophecy which brought the Alkaviri to Tamriel in the first place, in search of the Dragonborn. Here are the Akaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive long swords. Now they need their ancient mission fulfilled, as the last Dragonborn contends with Aldred at the end of time. Are you paying attention, Delphine? You might learn something of our own history. Sky, guard you. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? The Blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? What I want is irrelevant. This shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. They did not stop it. If the world is meant to end, so be it. Let it end and be reborn. No, not now. Not until you return to the path of wisdom. Dragonborn, wait. Uh, forgive me, I was intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. Master Einarth reminded me of my duty. The decision whether or not to help you is not mine to make. No, I cannot teach it to you because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend. But its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. It was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons, and they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely and never to outsiders.
Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Clear skies will throw away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit.
Krem Yolok. Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dovakin. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dover King. of speech with one of my own kind. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dovah's source, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Alduin Comate Teed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovakin return together. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind. Jaw, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the Dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this Thum? Prusa has good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? Pause. 
a fair answer. Rofus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los traodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus. Now, I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monavin, what you name Throat of the World? But few now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues. Varucht Unslad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. Hmm, yes and no. Viknuzni Karon. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Croesus, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Your blood will show you the way. I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovahkiin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. 
contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag, you will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovakin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Faim, and Yol. It is called force in your tongue. But as you push the world, so does the world push back. Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing aside all in its path. That is Fus. Let its meaning fill you. Sum Ark Mora. You will push the world harder than it pushes back. Which calls to you, Dovakin? F fade in your tongue. Mortals have greater affinity for this word than the Dove. Everything mortal fades away in time, but the spirit remains. Ponder the meaning of spirit, Unslad Zi. Where mortal flesh may wither and die, the spirit endures. That is fine. Let that meaning fill you. Sum Ark Mora. You will... Which calls to you, Dovaki? In your tongue, the word simply means fire. It is change given form. That is the true meaning of Yol. Solyek, power. You have it, as do all Dove. But power is inert without action and choice. Think of this as the fire builds in your sum, in your breath. Sum Ark Mora. What will you burn? What will you spare? Drem your lok, greetings. Look through. calls to it is call think that is foos let it meaning fill you sum ark mora speak which calls to you faith upon that is fine. That meaning fill you. calls to you fake pawn that is fine let which calls to you. it is think that is foos which calls to you fake pawn that is fine let that mean
feel you. Sum Ark Mora, which caused it is. Think that is Fus. Let it me. In feel you, Sum. spoke to Parthenax. The dragon blood burns bright within you. Did he tell you what you wanted to know? Did he teach you the dragon wren to shout? Well, so be it. If he believes it is necessary for you to learn this, we will bow to his wisdom. We have never concerned ourselves with the scrolls. The gods themselves would rightly fear to tamper with such things. As for where to find it, such blasphemies have always been the stock and trade of the mages of Winterhold. They may be able to tell you something about the Elder Scroll you seek. Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it almost without effort. Sky above, voice within. 